Now on Sunrise and streaming on CrossroadsToday.com, a new landmark bill designed to recognize federal protections for same-sex and interracial marriages was signed into law Tuesday. And in Victoria, eight undocumented immigrants arrested after taking authorities on a high-speed chase down Highway 59. Also, FTX founder San Bankman Freed was indicted on eight criminal charges, including wire fraud and conspiracy by misusing customer funds. And we're back in Quero this morning, looking at a live view from the Quero IST with the camera. The chilly air has arrived. Yes, how long is it going to stay? Well, it could be a while. What about rain chances? We'll talk about that coming up in your forecast. The Referio Bobcats are working on something special this week since no media are allowed at practice. That's coming up in sports. You're watching 25 News Now Sunrise. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Carolina Astrain. Today is the 14th day of December 2022 and the time is now 630 on your Wednesday morning and today is National Chestnut Day. We were just listening to the Christmas song by Nat King Cole, that opening line tray. It just makes me think of the holidays and maybe starting a, a fire in the living room, you know, like a fireplace fire, not something uncontrolled, but it's too warm for that just yet. Yeah, I tell you what, a fire in the living room, not advised. Let's send the, let's send the fireplace. Lighting the fireplace. There you go, there you go. And roast to roast those chestnuts. Roast the chestnuts, chestnuts on the open fire will be a good idea. <laughs> Just not in the middle of the living room. We'll just leave it at that. All right, on the outside, 64 degrees in Victoria. So normally winds around 10 miles per hour. Dew points in the low 50s. Definitely drier air working on through and seeing the precipitation still hanging on but moving further to the east with time. We're seeing the dry air moving on through. I'm pretty confident we'll see some sunshine coming up later on this morning. So some heavier thunderstorms there near, Pal near Palacios and Bay City moving on toward the east. So the weather headlines today once again. The cooler and drier air has arrived. It's working its way on through. Sunshine returns about this morning. By 10 o'clock this morning, I'm pretty confident we'll see some sunshine around here. Rain chances and cooler con conditions this weekend. Once again, the rain chances coming back. With a reinforcing surge, the cooler air keeps the temperatures on the cool side, maybe a little bit colder coming up by the weekend as well. And future temperatures starting off near 60 degrees and in the 60s with a daytime high and 50s by 2 a.m. on your Thursday. And then we'll keep the te cold temperatures in place by 6 p.m. on your Thursday. We're in the 50s or so. So you can see, get the idea, 50s and 60s for the daytime highs coming up for the next several days with rain chance increasing again by the weekend. We'll talk about that in the full forecast to come later on this half hour. Make it a great day today. You may want to grab your light jacket on the way out. Carolina. Thank you, Trey. The Respect for Marriage Act is now the law of the land. President Biden signed the bill into law during a ceremony on the White House lawn. The bipartisan legislation requires states to recognize same sex and interracial marriages and guarantees federal benefits to those couples. Before signing the bill, the president hailed it as a major achievement for LGBTQ rights, but said there is still more work to be done for future generations. Leading us to your viewer poll, are you in an interracial or same-sex marriage? Let's take a look. Okay, 16% of you say yes, you are, and 82% of you say no, you are not, and 2% of you say you're in both. Come to crossroadstoday.com slash vote. You can also scan the QR code right there on your screen to take part. Severe weather turning deadly in the south. At least two people, a mother and her son, were missing after a reported tornado in Louisiana. Meanwhile, people in seven states facing treacherous blizzard-like conditions. But we begin here in the south where those deadly storms are still active and on the move right now. This morning, the cross-country storm slamming tens of millions of Americans turning deadly in Louisiana. Deputies were searching for a missing mother and her child near Shreveport after their home was reportedly blown apart by a tornado. Overnight, authorities announcing the boy did not survive. It's really a, a true mess. The child's father was at work at the time. He had to show deputies where their home once stood. They're having to go through the trees that are down and power lines that are down and try to find the bulk of the house and, uh, and search and see if there's anything that we can there. New pictures show widespread damage in Farmerville, Louisiana. Police say about 25 people were injured, some critically, after a tornado leveled a neighborhood. In Texas, this twister striking near the Dallas-Fort Worth airport, forcing people in the terminal to take shelter. The lights went out, 
the wind gusts came like pretty strong and the, the rain. And then all I heard was a big boom. At least five people were injured when a tornado hit Grapevine, Texas. Meanwhile, from Montana, Wyoming and Colorado to Minnesota, people are bracing for up to two feet of snow, coupled with winds up to 55 miles per hour. The blinding snow making driving impossible. Authorities closing parts of I-70 east of Denver and shutting down a 200 mile stretch of I-90 in South Dakota. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. Authorities say two Ford Explorers took them on a high-speed chase down Highway 59 Tuesday. It wasn't until the SUVs crashed that the real chase happened. Authorities say after the crash, multiple people, multiple people got out and ran off. The suspects reportedly ran into a field off the highway down Perimeter Road. Authorities detained eight undocumented immigrants in that chase. Two suspects were detained by the Victoria County Sheriff's Office. Six more were detained by U.S. Border Patrol. Another chase led to a bailout on Monday, this time in Jackson County. Sheriff deputies say they attempted a traffic stop on Highway 59 near Ganado, but authorities say the vehicle took off. The vehicle reportedly ran through two fences near County Road 256 before getting stuck in a pasture. When the vehicle got stuck, the driver got out and ran off. The vehicle was recovered, but the driver got away from deputies. The suspect in the Wells Fargo bank robbery in Port Lavaca is still in a Louisiana jail. Alexandria police charged 50-year-old Mark Anthony Trevino for one count of first-degree robbery after robbing a bank there in October. Port Lavaca Police Chief Colin Ragnow told us an arrest warrant for Trevino in connection with the September 13th Wells Fargo robbery has not been executed. Chief Ragnow has not been executed. Chief Ragnow told us Trevino is facing federal bank robbery charges in the Dallas area and in Port Lavaca. Sam Bankman Freed, the founder of the crypto exchange FTX, was indicted on fraud and campaign finance charges. The former FTX CEO was one of the biggest names in cryptocurrency before his exchange collapsed this year. He was denied bail in a hearing Tuesday in the Bahamas. He'll remain in detention there until his extradition hearing set for February 8th. Scientists have taken a huge step toward a clean energy revolution. Tuesday, the Department of Energy announced that scientists have been able to produce a reaction replicating the same fusion that powers the sun. Researchers have been trying for decades to tap into an infinite source for clean energy, and experts say this new development moves the world closer to a future carbon-free source for energy. All right, let's get your cell phone or smart device out and scan this QR code. It's our quick response code to download the Crossroads Today app. You can get breaking news alerts, vote on our viewer poll, get the latest news, weather and sports, and learn all about our ongoing contest right there on the app. Submit those news tips and holiday photos. The time is just about 6.38 on your Wednesday morning. Here's a look at what's coming up on 25 News Now Sunrise. Victoria's unique location on the coast could be an important factor in recovering from future disasters. Plus, the cost of borrowing money is about to get even more expensive. The Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates for the seventh time this year. All right, the rain moving out as we speak and the sunshine is moving in. There comes a clearing line by about 9 or 10 a.m. in Victoria. But the clouds and the rain will return at some point. We'll take a look at that in your full forecast coming up. I'm John Zotchik with Prosperity Bank. We can help you realize your family's dream with a prosperity mortgage for that new home or to refinance your current home. We're committed to our customers today and into the future. That's our Prosperity Bank promise. At Chevy, the holidays mean going places and doing things you love to do with friends and family. Visit your local Chevy dealer and when you find your red tag, you find your deal. Then make the most of your time with the people who matter most. Find new moments, find new roads. Find your red tag and get $2,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with the 2.7 liter turbo engine. New models are arriving daily. Secure yours today. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. If you paid more for your car insurance this year than last year, give us a call at Fred Loya Insurance or visit us at fredloya.com. My insurance rates went up more than 50%. That's when I call Fred Loya. My insurance went up over $100 a month. 
That's $1,200 a year, so I called Fred Lawyer Insurance. If you think you're paying too much for your car insurance or if your renewal rates have gone up, start paying less and call or visit us online at fredloya.com. If you're looking for assistance with an IRA, 401k, or other qualified retirement plans, we can help. I'm Dean Tice, President of Prosperity Trust. You can put your trust in us. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Good morning. It's 20 minutes away from the 7 a.m. hour. Look at the weather map this morning. Front in the Gulf of Mexico. Clearing skies for us around here. The clouds moving to the east rather quickly. By 10 a.m., I think we'll be clear skies in Victoria. High pressure ridging in, dry air. And here comes the next front right here. And this is a reinforcing surge of cool air. Notice this front, if you kind of get my uh, idea here, it's originated in the west, moved to west to east. This one's coming more from the north. That means it's Canadian air, which is even colder air than the Pacific front was. So they keep the chilly air in our forecast here, area here. Not seeing any freezing temperatures as of yet. Don't see that in the future. But it is getting rather chilly around here coming up. And the rain is moving to the east for time. I said by 10 a.m. we'll see clearing skies of Victoria. So I'm holding to that as the model is moving further to the east with time with the, with the cloud cover and the rain chances. And with clear skies tonight, we'll have temperatures in the low 40s wake up time for your day tomorrow. With that radiation cooling definitely in place, so be prepared for that. Dress warmly, and your full forecast comes up again this half hour before we go. Carolina? Thank you, Trey. We are days away from the state championship game between the Referio Bobcats and the Holly Bearcats, and the head coach for Referio has some tricks up his sleeve. Sports Director Gino Perez has more. Patty Crossroads, the Refrio Bobcats are working on big things ahead of the final game of the season. So much so, Refrio head coach Jason Herring said Monday would be the only day for media to be at practice, in part to keep everyone focused on the game Thursday and to keep anything they work on in practice a secret. Refrio are on a 14-game win streak following the week one loss to Hitchcock. The Bobcats are preparing for the Holly Bearcats, which are going to the state title game for two years in a row. Ernest Campbell, a.k.a. The Flash, is a back-to-back 100-meter -back dash track state champion and knows what it takes to win, but he has not won a state title on the football field just yet, saying him and his team have been working towards this moment all year. So, you know, pretty much like the most hated, but like, since we lost our first game uh, versus Hicks, uh, nobody really liked us, and they, they already counted us out. So that's pretty much like cancer, like Coach Heron said, so we like, as soon as we be, be like Edna, it's like, oh, they're going to make it to state. You know, that's how it is. Refrio and Holly will battle Thursday, December 15th at 11 in the morning. That's your 25 Sports Now. We want to invite you to experience our digital streaming service, Crossroads, today. Plus, you can find it on your connected TV through Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and on your cell phone. Just search Crossroads Today Plus. Today, the Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates for the final time this year. The central bank has been trying to slow down borrowing and the economy to tame inflation, while new government data shows record high prices could finally be letting up. With the Federal Reserve set to hike interest rates for the seventh time this year, promising new signs that red-hot inflation is cooling off. Consumer prices rose 7.1 percent in November from a year ago, the slowest pace since the end of last year. Americans' costs declining for gas, airfares, used cars, and medical care. Make no mistake, prices are still too high. We have a lot more work to do, but things are getting better, headed in the right direction. The inflation report is welcome news for the Fed, as it's expected to raise interest rates today by half a percentage point. That's a historically big move, but smaller than the past four rate hikes. The Fed can be more comfortable in slowing down its pace of rate hikes going forward into 2023. They're much more likely to do adjustments in the policy rate of 25 basis point increments and that way they can see if this positive trend in inflation continues. The Fed is walking a fine line trying to raise borrowing costs just enough to slow down spending and lower prices but not tip the economy into a recession. But for some businesses higher interest rates are already dampening the outlook. This is our four point welder. Richard Kennel is the president of a family-owned factory that manufactures windows in Virginia. 
There will be a recession. No question. Oh, no question. I've been doing this for 46 years. I've seen many recessions and I've seen many booms. And I'm not naive about the fact that the business cycle is going to happen again. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell will speak this afternoon. Traders on Wall Street will be closely listening to his comments on the jobs market and the impact of higher wages on inflation. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington. Victoria's unique location on the coast could be an important factor in recovering from future disasters. After Hurricane Harvey, talk of a centrally located emergency management base in Victoria was discussed. Now local and state leaders are working to make this project a reality. Victoria Emergency Coordinator Richard McBrayer says the Victoria Regional Airport would be the ideal place for this new facility. It could be a permanent location to where we could house first responders coming in during uh, either pre-disaster or even post-disaster and having themselves uh, the capability to have a, a safe haven, a ride out location to where they could stay safe and then be able to perform their services shortly thereafter. McBrayer says the state has approved funding for the project. Now they are waiting to get an approval from FEMA. After that, it will take about two or three years to become fully operational. The time is just about 646 on your Wednesday morning still to come. A new report from the CDC says long COVID played a part in the deaths of thousands of people in the U.S. It's time to celebrate some birthdays. Happy birthday to John. Happy birthday from your family. We love you. And it's a happy birthday to Daniel. Happy, happy birthday to an amazing hubby and dad. We love you and may God bless you with many more. And happy birthday to Vanessa Hudgens. She's 34 today. And to see your birthday wish live on 25 News Now Sunrise, come to CrossroadsToday.com. Click on More and Under Home. You see the KVU submit your birthday. The time is now 646 on your Wednesday morning. Happy birthday if today is your birthday. We'll be right back. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. Come in now and choose from a great selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select vehicles, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily, so you can drive one home for the holidays. Now get two nine for 60 on Edge or Explorer, plus up to 3,000 bonus cash, zero payments for 90 days, and complimentary maintenance. See your best in Texas Ford dealer. Hard to wrap, easy to give. From big presents to stocking stuffers, the Steel Holiday Gift Guide has something for everyone. Find yours at steelusa.com slash gift guide. In this morning's GMA First Look, an ABC News exclusive. He was thrown three stories. I mean, they're not like normal stories in a house, three stories. The family of then five-year-old Landon, who was thrown from the third floor railing, reaching a settlement in its lawsuit against the Mall of America. What did the doctors tell you? All of them, this is a miracle. He should not be here. And now, for the first time, the family is speaking out to Good Morning America. It's been three and a half years now. Why now do you want to tell your story? I was frozen in time until I was able to speak. And now is the time that is right in our lives where we've done a lot of healing, where it's time to move forward with the story of the miracle of Landon. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll hear from the little survivor at the heart of this story, eight-year-old Landon. With your GMA First Look, I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York.
Good morning, good morning. It's just about 10 minutes away from the 7 a.m. hour. The temperature is 8 a.m. and near 60 degrees. And it's keeping in the 60s all day long today. Cooling off nicely in the overnight tonight. By 9 p.m., we're already in the mid to lower 40s around here. Even cooler than that, maybe some 30s up there near Gonzales. Coming up by your 2 a.m. on your Thursday, 42 degrees in Victoria. So definitely we're seeing the chilly air come into place here. And maybe some 30s coming according to this weather model right here. Near frosty conditions there up there in, in Nixon and Gonzales by your early morning on your Thursday. Not quite here yet, but getting kind of close. But now I don't think it'll get all the way down to freezing. And the clouds will begin to move on out as they're already beginning to do so. By 10 a.m., the clearing line should be past Victoria. Sunny skies in the area today. And cool temperatures coming up, 62 degrees overnight tonight. Gradual clearing skies, and lows in the 40s area-wide, and especially north of Victoria, you can see some frosty conditions possible up there near I-10. 67 degrees for your day tomorrow for your Thursday. Sunny skies and cool extended forecast for us. High temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Saturday particularly on the cool side, highs in the 50s with rain chances. And that will continue through your Sunday and Monday. A little bit warmer perhaps by Tuesday. A new report from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says long COVID played a part in the deaths of thousands of people in the U.S. The report says in the first 30 months of the COVID-19 COVID pandemic, more than 3,500 people died due to long COVID complications. But experts say that that number is an undercount, considering up to 30 percent of people who contract the disease go on to have long term symptoms. The study says the majority of the victims were, quote, white, older and male. There are several limitations with the report, though, including the fact that death numbers are still provisional and could change. If you got an email that said your student loan was forgiven, it's an error. The Department of Education mistakenly sent out about 9 million of those last month. Thus far, no one has received debt forgiveness. The Department of Education says its vendor sent the email with the, with the inaccurate subject line, but the body confirming the department received the application was correct. The president's debt relief program is still blocked by federal courts. The Supreme Court is set to hear the case in February with a decision expected in June. Before the program was halted in November, the Department of Education received about 26 million applications. 16 million of them were approved for debt cancellation, but no relief has been sent out yet because of the lawsuits. Still to come on Sunrise, news to note before you go. Three people arrested after a child died from a gunshot wound in North Carolina. They're in one of the biggest movies this award season. From the whale, Brendan Fraser and Sadie Sink. You have such intense scenes together. Most of the time, I was just screaming at Brendan. <laughs> what did you do to keep things light? I played a lot of Nintendo Switch. <laughs> did you get to meet Sadie's family ever? I did. Her dad has a handshake like a stonemason. <laughs> this hand still hurts. <laughs> This morning, Allie Wentworth's coming to GMA to talk about her new show, The Parent Test Live. So what will she reveal about her and George as parents? You just stay in your lane, buddy. Plus, we're cooking up George's favorite holiday cookie this morning on GMA. Are you ready to change your career path? Come join our sales team at the Victoria Television Group. Do you have a passion for customer service and sales? This is the right place for you. We offer great benefits, medical, dental, life, 401k, pay vacation, and much more. Call me and let me show you why the Victoria Television Group sales team is the right choice for you. Stay out of big cars. Are they big limousines? <laughs> are they big limousines? Yes, they are. It's evidently not your thing. Accident stalled a limo driver's career. And then you fired her. Yes. Leaving her co-worker husband on the hook. How much did you withhold from his pay? I was taking 50%, but he called me and threatened me, said it was illegal. It is? <laughs> Next, Judge Judy. It's premature to think the killer is done. She's got to be stopped. Is the hook killer back for more blood? Could be that Esme is not the hook killer. General Hospital on ABC.
Tired of your typical clock in, clock out job? You need a rewarding career in an entertaining environment that you'll enjoy. Take yourself out of the box and come to the Victoria Television Group. We have an active, fun, creative atmosphere that can help you succeed and keep those everyday work blues away. Come join our energetic and outgoing sales team. Renew your career and learn to use skills you didn't know you had. Call us 361-575-2500 or email opportunity at victoriatelevision.com for more information. And now for today's question of the day. The average person buys three of these every holiday season. What is it? Okay, Trey, we have a few guesses. Tracy says gift cards. Casey says wrapping paper, wrapping paper or tape. Probably more tape than just three. Debbie says gift cards. Nicole says ornaments. Merritt says wrapping paper, gift cards from Mary Helen. Zach Brown said turkeys. That's a lot of turkey. Probably change it up for Christmas, get a ham. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Patricia says Christmas ornaments, and Anna says Christmas candy. Mm, fantastic. Great guesses, everyone. Thank you for chiming in for the question of the day. And the answer we're looking for was wrapping paper, those big rolls of wrapping paper like you get at the store. That's what people ah. normally buy, about three a year. Well, Merritt and Casey got that correct. All right, very good. Way to go, way to go. And stay tuned for tomorrow for another great question of the day, probably Christmas themed at this point. So wait for that and get your brain going on your day tomorrow with the question of the day. Three people were arrested after a child died from a gunshot wound on Tuesday in North Carolina. People were called to the mobile home residence in Gaston County shortly after 4 p.m. They say life-saving measures were unsuccessful and the child was pronounced deceased on the scene. Authorities say the child's mother, father, and another relative living at home had failed to properly secure a firearm. The four-year-old four boy and another sibling found the firearm, which discharged once and killed the boy. At least one person is dead and several others are hurt following a shooting in Rochester, New York, Tuesday evening. Police responded to reports of multiple shots fired on Illinois Street. Once they arrived on scene, they received notice that four shooting victims had arrived at an area hospital in a private vehicle. Their ages ranged from 18 to 30 years old. One of those individuals died at the hospital. Officers later found out that there was a fifth shooting victim at another hospital. There's no word as to the condition of those victims. The investigation is ongoing and no suspects are identified in connection with the shootings. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers withdrawing approval to dredge the Matagorda Bay shipping channel through an EPA Superfund site. The action comes after a lawsuit was filed about the anticipated use of the shipping channel and the risk of mercury contamination, increased greenhouse gas emissions, and significant impacts on the lives and livelihoods of people working in the fishing industry. Thursday, Crestwood Drive will close for paving operations between Arroyo Drive and Laurent Street from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. weather permitting. All businesses and homes in the construction zone will remain accessible. The construction is part of the $3.7 million Crestwood Drive Phase 2 reconstruction project. The Phase 2 was previously expected to be fully completed by February, but now set for March. Kurt's Kitchen hosted its annual giveaway for the less fortunate Tuesday afternoon. They provided pillows and blankets. Monday, Kurt's Kitchen gave away nine bicycles and two Christmas trees. Those items donated by the Victoria Police Department. We want to invite you to experience our digital streaming service Crossroads Today Plus. You can find it on your cell phone or on your connected TV through Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and on your cell phone to search Crossroads Today Plus. And now let's get a last look at our forecast with Trey. And thank you so much, Carolina. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Clouds begin to move on out and rain as well. We will have sunny skies by your late morning in the afternoon. 40s in the overnight tonight, so keep prepared for that. There's the rain moving on out, clearing our skies by 10 a.m. here in Victoria and sunshine to enjoy after that. So we're looking at temperatures today, 62 degrees, gradual clearing. It will see sunshine today. Overnight lows 42 degrees with clear skies and highs tomorrow in the 60s again for your Thursday extended forecast for us. Rain chances return by the weekend 
and cool temperatures still continue. Carolina? Thank you, Trey, and thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Come to CrossroadsToday.com for more local news, weather, and sports. And join James, Don, Howie, Karina, and Gino today for 25 News now at 5, 6, and 10. Make it a great Wednesday.